Hey guys, this is the Saigami Project and my name is Andrea Otelia Verosh, aka Sunny, creator of the manga series Saigami, published and serialized in Saturday AM. If you don't know Saturday AM, it's a bi-weekly digital manga anthology, kinda like Shonen Jam, but with more diverse characters and creators from all around the world. I'm gonna leave all the infos and links below in the video description box, so if you're interested you can check us out. So, in today's video, I'm gonna introduce you uh, a brand new type of markers I got just not so long ago. And they are probably the cheapest markers you can ever find. So, let's get into this. So, here they are. Um, it's a set of 60 pieces of Touch 5 markers. Um, they came with this neat box, so it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna zip it out so you can see. And ta da! So, these are the Touch 5 markers. Um, they look cool, but you know, <laughs> uh, they are cheap for a reason. So, I'm gonna try and introduce you these markers a bit more so you can consider if you wanna get them or not or is it worth or not so let's start it so the pack I ordered includes 60 pieces of Touch 5 markers and it also came with a white gel pen which has a label Touch New on it it's the same as the back has but the markers has have the Touch 5 uh, label on them, so it's kind of funny. And it also came with a fine liner, which kind of reminds me on the Sakura Micron Figma pens, but it has some kind of no name label on it. But it's cool. Um, you can also order uh, smaller and bigger packages from these. If I remember well, there was a 30 pieces pack, 40, 60, and you can also get 80 pieces of uh, bags and packs of markers. Um, there are some different color variations, for example, you can get a color set for animation, for product design, for environment design, and 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 there was something else, I can't remember. The pack I got uh, had no such name. Um, I just went with the cheapest one. So, I just wanted to try out these markers. You know, it, it was kind of suspiciously cheap, so <laughs> I just wanted to see what they have. So, I didn't choose uh, based on the colors, but on the price. It also has 60 pieces, so it's more colors than I ever had with markers, so it was fairly good with me. So now let's take a closer look on the markers. So here we have a Touch 5 Twin Marker, as you can see, and it has a fine nib and a board nib. I'm gonna remove the caps as well. Some of the caps are really hard to remove, so you're gonna have some serious trouble with that, prepare for that. And yep, here we have the board nib. Um, before I show you all the colors and such, I'm gonna compare it a bit to the normal touch mark or the original uh, touch markers. For example, here I have uh, a Shinhan original touch twin marker which looks kind of the same so touch 5 markers are obviously the ripoffs or the china version of touch markers but uh, while the shinhan touch twin markers the white types have a brush nib and a medium board uh, the black touch markers have the fine nib and the board nib, similar to the Touch 5 markers. Kind of interesting that when you're ordering the Touch 5 markers, you can choose whether you want 
them to have the white uh, body or the black body but uh, it's only the color so you can't choose to have a brush nib because touch white markers only have the fine nib regardless if you pick the black or the white color it's just for the looks but in the case of the original touch markers the color matters because of the nibs as for the colors I prepared the chart in advance I hope you can see sorry for my crappy handwriting they have some really nice blues and greens uh, what I had a problem with was uh, the yellows actually and kind of the warmer colors uh, I mean the warmer like uh, red, orange and these kind of colors uh, <laughs> the first problem I encountered was the names um, not sure if you can read my handwriting here so I'm gonna introduce you some funny examples for example here we have this marker which has obviously a yellow cap on it um, actually it says not sure if it shows up I'm gonna zoom in a bit 44 fresh green I'm not an expert either in English or with colors but if this is green I don't know so and actually it looks like this on the paper um, nope that's not green <laughs> Lucky thing is that by some of the name, naming, the color naming are weird for me. Uh, the cap colors are matching the color of the ink pretty well uh, for most of the pens, at least. Uh, well, first thing first, when you get or if you want to get these markers uh, make your own color chart and this will be really really helpful because you can take a look and see what the color actually looks like on the paper and you can be sure that you won't pick the wrong color based on the naming or the cap colors some more info about the colors as you can see it came with various uh, shades of grey it has warm grey and uh, blue grey and cool grey which is cool, I, I use a lot of grey so it's okay, some pretty neat blues what I had a problem with are the fluorescent colors as you can see here is a fluorescent green, a fluorescent yellow and a fluorescent orange and I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrongly so please bear with me but what I had a problem with uh, here is for example the fluorescent orange and when I tried to use it it uh, turned out to be just a regular highlighter for example you know what you use for your textbooks and things like that um, it seemingly has a different type of ink than the rest of the markers based on the smell and the quality of the ink I'm pretty sure you all have that experience when you go over the line a lot uh, with the highlighter and it tears up the paper the same had happened with this uh, fluorescent touch 5 marker with uh, the fluorescent green, the yellow and the orange as well so mm, that was something I wasn't too happy about I know I, I shouldn't have my hopes up with prices like this but that was kind of a bummer for me but apart from these three colors the rest of them work pretty fine for their prices actually I'm not an expert with markers and I never use the highest quality markers like Copic Sketch I only had a few Chavos and some cheaper markers like the normal touch markers and Prismacolor so I can't compare to that but I think for their price uh, these inks are kinda good um, they have a solid color and they look pretty vibrant and, and I like that let's show an example for example 
here is uh, a green grass <laughs> at least it's green that's the fine nib and here we have divide the broad nib uh, one thing for the broad nibs is that you have to go over them because if you just go like this they can stay streaky and they kind of have a less ink uh, than the fine nib so you have to be careful with that one thing for the nibs is that even if it says fine tip uh, it's kind of dual compared to the fine nib the original touch marker has I'm gonna show you um, I hope it shows up um, not sure but the touch fine marker is kind of big and dual while the normal touch twin marker has a nice pointy fine nib so you can have nice fine line strokes with that and it can help you with the finer details as well while the touch fine markers are really hard to work with when it comes to fine details I'm not sure if it shows up but see you can't have those smooth thin lines more likely because the touch five markers had a bad habit of bleeding a lot. So even if you manage to work on the fine area with a nice thin line if you hold your hand the right way and manage to use the thinnest point of the nib, it will bleed. So it's kinda hard to work with them. So when I work on some finer details I usually use the broad nib and try to use one of the edges and and wing it if I can have that kind of really thin line as you can see it's thinner than the fine nib lines so it's kind of tricky uh, you definitely need to get the hang of it it surely will be easier with a brush nib or something like that but you know for this price you have to put in a bit more effort to sum things up I'm gonna write a list of pros and cons about my experiences with the touch 5 markers and hopefully that can be informative and helpful enough to help you make a decision whether you want to get these markers or is it worth or not. So let's take a look into it. The first and biggest pro is definitely the price. I said this before but this is probably the cheapest markers you will ever get. And uh, the bigger set you get, the cheaper uh, the price you'll get if you count it down to one marker. Of course you won't get a copy quality for this price, but it's still a pretty damn good deal. Next on the list are the colors. I know I said I had some problems with the warmer colors and the fluorescent colors, but even though the colors are really nice and vibrant and solid, so I'm gonna list that as a pro. Next on the list is the bag. It's nothing really special, but it's still pretty neat and it makes storing and carrying your markers around much much easier so that's a pro for me. The last pro on my list are the extra pens that came with the markers. They nothing really special but still they were for free and I really like the white gel pen actually. It has some decent quality. Let's take a look at the cons. The biggest con for me was probably the caps. I mentioned before, but some of the caps are really, really hard to get off. And it sucks 
uh, because some of the caps has those small colored pieces loose on them and if you are trying to pull the cap too hard these small color pieces can stay in your hand and that's quality for you I guess for this price uh, and on the other hand some of the caps are really loose so even if you just touch them they fell off and that's pretty bad because it can lead to your marker drying out much much sooner Another come for me was the fine nib or the bullet nib. I found it really hard to use, especially for final details. Um, so I, I didn't really like that as much. It might be just me because I'm more used to uh, fine brushes with the watercolor and such, but I think it was really hard to work with that kind of dual nib detach white marker has on the fine end. Another big big con on the list is the blading. These markers bleed a lot. If you put a paper under uh, the paper you are working on it will bleed through that as well and that's such a bummer because it can ruin your artwork and it will also probably lead to the marker drying up sooner. I don't have these markers for too long now, but I don't really have high expectation for them lasting too long because all of them are bleeding a lot. And that's definitely a con. Another con was for me that uh, some of my inks uh, didn't work well with the Touch 5 markers. Sooner I didn't really have a problem because uh, the type of ink I use is waterproof and it worked well with uh, Copic and normal touch markers but when I use touch five markers uh, it smeared the ink and some of my lines were just washed away when I went over them with the touch five markers so for me that's definitely a big con because I use normal ink for my artworks the next con on my list might sound a bit nitpicky but I found that uh, some of the markers had a terribly smelling ink in them and that's not really pleasant and it made me wonder that if uh, the various type of markers smell differently they might have a different type of ink in them and that's not the best I think and while we're at the smelly inks I'm gonna list the fluorescent colors as cons as well because they had a terrible smell and as I mentioned they had just normal highlighter ink in them. Another big con on the list is the blending. These markers don't blend too well. Not with other type of markers and not with each other. So these are the pros and the cons for the touch, mar touch 5 markers. Sorry. As you can kind of figure out by the prices these pens will have more uh, cons than pros and that's what you get when you try to get away with the cheapest things but uh, all in all I think these kind of are worth the price I mean they're ridiculously cheap and uh, for that price they have uh, a kind of decent quality but uh, you have to think about how you will utilize them. For example, if you want to get a Copic-like look with lots of blending and smooth colors and, and beautiful details, Touch 5 markers are not for you. But if uh, you want to use a kind of simple coloring or cell shading or you just try to wing it or try to find your media for coloring, they can be meant for you or at least for trying out markers um, I can't see anyone using this for long term but for first markers, for trying out for experimenting they are pretty fine I think and uh, I've found a way I can use them for myself as well um, this was just one of my first try, uh, but for example, 
Um, here I have this half finished image. Let me zoom in a bit. Um, I didn't finish it yet, but that's great because I can show you. For example, uh, if you take a look at Kagema here, I put down the base colors uh, with the touch 5 markers. Just one layer of solid colors and lighter shapes. And uh, here, as you can see, looking at Hinata, over the base color of the touch 5 markers, I started the shading and adding some more colors with color pencils. And so far, I think it looks great. And the pencil works really, really nicely over this layer of touch 5 markers. So I can totally see myself using this technique more in the future. And that's cool because, you know, putting down the base colors with color pencil can be kind of pain in the ass. But if I put it down with these markers and I only have to shade and highlight and smoothen colors with the color pencil, I can be happy with that actually. Well, so much about my review about the Touch 5 markers. I hope you found it useful. And let me know if you would like to see some other reviews like this about the art tools I use to create manga. And also please don't forget that you can read my manga series Saigami. The first two chapters are up online at Saturdayam's homepage for free, which you can read. Or you can also get your own copy of the book in English and in Hungarian. This is the Hungarian copy. The English version has a slightly different cover, but it has the same 200 pages of exclusive content of Saigami. So thanks for watching guys and I also thanks for everyone who had uh, purchased the book and please look forward for my next video. Thank you. Bye.